know, uh, enough regular season. There's always some closure to that, and with the anticipation of the game next week, I thought our guys did a good job competing late into the game too, um, and got a few guys a chance to because it worked really hard during the course of the year, a chance to to compete in the game. Bruno Fernando comes out, and I think in the first half he had 10 points in seven minutes. Just what did you think of his aggression and kind of lifting the level of play? Well, I think that's the, you know, when we talked about that, if I, we weren't as aggressive um, early in the game, and um, he did a good job of bringing that um, on both ends of the floor on the glass, and um, really ran and, and competed, and uh, he's one of those guys that's put time in, and good for him to have an opportunity to play and, and to compete. Now 82 games done, I guess, what was you know your biggest message in the locker room? I know heading into the play-in game, but it was kind of like the wrap-up message. Yeah, it, you know, it, with the play-in, it's, it's a little different. Mm -hmm. um, I think our, you know, our focus needs to go immediately to Miami mm -hmm. and what we need to do to prepare for that game. And see, good job competing. And, um, but, you know, I think it, it transitions very quickly. Saw Jalen get the, the ball in his hands and offensively run a, a couple things there. Mm -hmm. Did you like what you saw of him? Yeah, he's been doing that. You know, he's done it more in open court. Um, and there's opportunities I think our guys know. Um, you, know you get used to someone making plays and and uh, developing some, some synergy with certain players on the floor. And he's been able to do that with a lot of our guys, um, not just in the open floor, but in half court too, just making plays for other people. And with DeAndre Hunter too, I know he only played the first half, but did you feel like he kind of got, you know, that rhythm that you wanted to see heading yeah, into Yeah, I think, it, I think, you know, just lacing him up and mm -hmm. getting ready to play and starting the game, and, you know, going through that whole process for him, having been out for a few games is yeah. really, really important. Um, so we wanted to accomplish that and, and obviously, um, you know, I thought he did a good job you know, on the court too. He competed and um, was able to knock down a couple shots and make a couple plays and, and kind of find his aggressiveness. With a game like this, do you kind of go into it with a mindset of like trying some things out for maybe the bench guys and seeing if they could do some things during the... I think you have a general idea of what certain guys can do. Um, there's things that, for instance, you may do for one player that... Um, um, it's more rotational and then have an opportunity for those other guys to, to execute you know, the same thing. There's some things that you try to tweak to fit um, certain personnel, but for the most part, you won't. You know, I, I thought the focus at most of our timeouts and during the game really was defending. Um, and they're a tough team to defend. That's why they got as many threes as we did, and, or they did, I should say. Um, you know, and that takes a lot of a lot of focus and concentration and you know we asked a lot of our guys in doing that um, and I thought like I said I think to, as the game progressed too that there were some times particularly at the beginning of the third quarter where they got um, Hauser got hot and hit some clean looks and uh, we tried to adjust to some of that but they anytime you have five guys on the floor that can shoot a three they really space you and it puts pressure on your defense and you know I know our guys were focused on you know trying to do a good job.